So if you want to install a fresh operating system of Ubuntu on uh, a new, let's say like a new hard drive or wipe your hard drive and start fresh, then you're most likely going to be booting from either a CD or some kind of live USB. And a lot of computers have a security option that will actually prevent you just from booting from this stuff called secure boot and you'll have to disable that through your BIOS and the way you do that is you turn off the computer and then turn it back on as it's coming up just like press escape and press F10 to get into the boot or the um, yeah the boot options and then you want to find the um, inside the boot options there's something for secure boot and you can just disable it and then it will stay disabled until you tell it otherwise so it's not like a one-time thing it won't go back to being secure boot just by rebooting the computer but what that will allow you to do is install your operating system from the USB and then when it's done you can take the USB out and then go back into BIOS and there will be an option to restore the default settings, which will turn secure boot back on. So, so I just received a my solid state 500 gigabyte uh, drive and I'm going to replace the hard drive that is in my HP Pavilion G6 and I'm going to install operating system called X Ubuntu on it. Ubuntu is a pretty popular and user-friendly Linux operating system. This is X Ubuntu that's loaded on here right now. It looks similar to Windows with the icons down at the bottom and a little start menu, but it's a very lightweight desktop environment which just means my computer sitting here isn't working very hard drawing everything. However, there's not a lot of like really cool animations and stuff. It's a more simple, but that's my personal preference. Anyway, um, whenever I do the hard drive switch, I'm going to lose all my files because I'm replacing the hard drive and that is where your files are stored so sensibly I'm going to have to copy everything that I want back onto the hard drive and I can I'm okay with that and I've been preparing because this is a backup external hard drive and I've moved everything that I want to keep into a folder on here so that whenever I install the operating system uh, that's the first thing that goes on to the, your new hard drive is the operating system. It'll be like a fresh computer, like you just bought it. And then you can copy all of the stuff you want back on. It will take a couple hours and then I should be right back to where I am now, except with a different drive and the solid state drive should be considerably quicker. So I'm just going to open this thing. I have used them before. This is the second one that I've bought. So I trust the brand. So it's a Western Digital 500 gigabyte SSD, 2.5 inch. And it's got the SATA port on this side. So it's a bit of a process what I'm going to do, but first I will turn my computer off and then disassemble it a little bit so that I can swap the hard drives. Then whenever I turn it back on, I actually don't want the computer to try to boot from this empty uh, SSD. So before I turn it on, I'm going to plug in the bootable drive that contains the new operating system and then as the computer is booting up I'm going to interrupt the boot process 
and tell it to continue booting instead from USB. And then it actually won't even be reading and writing to the SSD as the computer is booting up, but I'll be able to see the SSD within the install menus from the Xubuntu operating system. I'll be able to select, uh, uh, hey, this is the solid state drive I want to use, and then it can install the operating system. And then after that, I can remove the USB stick and things should be back to normal. All right, so my computer is actually uh, pretty easy to operate on. Uh, see, I can remove this one screw here and then slide the little panel off. And there is my hard drive. There's my RAM, my Wi-Fi card. Most of the stuff that I would have to do maintenance on is all there with one screw. I will admit I was first a little bit, um, I'll say fearful or hesitant working on my computer for the first time. Um, but I actually have, since getting to work on other people's computers, realized that this one's not that bad. Okay, so this hard drive is a Toshiba. It's a hard drive, first of all. So it's got a disc that spins um, and does it say the capacity? I know it's a 512 gigabyte. I was just looking at it. Oh, 750 gigabyte. Okay. Okay, so the SATA can come off. All right. So I'm just going to use this piece of foam and just kind of, you can see it pushes in just like that. And with that, the back is going on. All right, so let's plug the USB in. That's our bootable operating system. So it contains the new operating system and all the install files. So I chose the option to try Xubuntu. Uh, so it actually loaded the operating system from the USB and we can kind of use it like a computer, but the purpose of this is to just get familiar with, if, in case it's a new operating system for you. In my case, it's what I've already been using. So I'm just going to click on the icon to install it permanently and let the um, install wizard kind of take me through the process. So I am checking the option to install third party software gra uh, for graphics and Wi-Fi because I'm pretty sure that without those even though I'll still get the Xubuntu operating system, I won't have the drivers that are specifically for my Wi-Fi card. So it's possible that like my graphics drivers won't work. Uh, so I'm, but in order to do that, I have to create a like a temporary password um, so that the system will let me install those third-party drivers. The next window is asking if we want to erase the disk, which we do because it's a brand new drive. Though if we wanted to, we could resize the existing partition and install Ubuntu like on your hard drive, um, but we're not going to do that. So I think at this point it's going to start the long-ish process, it's just asking me to confirm, and actually it's going to automatically reformat the drive. That's fine. So now the installation is underway and it's going to bring the system files all from the USB 
onto the new hard drive, probably download a lot of stuff off the internet. So after only maybe 20 minutes, the installation has finished and I'm going to, I could restart it now, but then I'll have to yank the USB drive out before it tries to boot again because it, it might try to boot from the USB it, uh, again even though the operating system is on the new hard drive so I'm going to tell it to continue testing only long enough for me to just shut down and this should take a couple seconds Please remove the installation medium, then press enter. It may have asked me to do that. Um, it probably would have asked me to do that if I had just said restart now. So it actually was not as easy as it should have been because uh, I forgot a pretty important step at the beginning and that is to uh, temporarily disable secure boot from my BIOS. Secure boot is what keeps you safe by not allowing other devices other than your main hard drive to be bootable um, but except in the case where we actually want to boot from another drive we have to temporarily disable secure boot and I did not do that so it was giving me problems and also there was an issue with um, a program called Mock, M-O-K, and it's possible that if something just didn't complete properly in the Ubuntu installation process. But anyway, what I did is I actually put my old hard drive back in because I couldn't get to the BIOS from the new one. So I used this just so I could get back to the BIOS, disable secure boot, which then allowed me to... Um, boot from the live stick, the USB stick, and the new hard drive, and make a quick fix on the new hard drive, and then disable secure, or yeah, or re-enable secure boot. Um, so secure boot is enabled now. So that was, this is three seconds later. It's amazing how quickly that solid state drive is. Wow, it is night and day between the hard drive and the new solid state drive. But well, once I had the secure boot option turned off, everything went pretty easy. Well, I hope your installation goes well. Thank you for watching.